The High Wire Under the Big Top from The Memoirs of an Olive Tree by E.B. Vargas. What's your favorite part of the circus? Is it the sword swallower and all his sharp swords? Or is it the lion tamer controlling his fierce lions? Maybe your favorite part of the circus is the popcorn and olive pops. Olive pops, you ask? Yes, don't knock them till you've tried them, says Ollie, the olive tree. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Galatians 3.29 NIV Theirs are the promises. The circus is in town! The circus is in town! True enough, the circus performers were preparing for their grand opening night. The ringmaster made sure all the acts would be ready. The sword swallower was sharpening his swords. The bearded lady was combing her hair. The lion tamer was cracking his whip. The strong man was pumping iron. The clowns were also getting ready. They were especially good at jumping rope while juggling bananas. But these were naughty clowns. One of them ate a banana and placed the peel right where the strong man was walking. Slip fell the strong man. Bonk flew the weight. Right on top of the strong man's head, a lump began to grow. The ringmaster saw the naughty trick and was not pleased. This is your last warning, clowns. No more tricks on the other circus performers. The ringmaster gave a stern look. Hee hee, the clowns giggled. No more tricks, no more tricks. But already the clowns were thinking up another naughty trick. Taking the jump rope, they stretched it just high enough across the floor for another circus performer to trip. Rolling along came the popcorn cart with the vendor behind. Splat! fell the vendor. Crack! broke the vendor's cart, and up flew the popcorn flying everywhere. That's enough! demanded the ringmaster. You clowns may not have any more bananas. You clowns may not have any more jump ropes. Come performance time, you may only turn cartwheels and stand on your head. From now on, the monkey gets the bananas, and I'm giving the rope to old Abe. Now, old Abe had two sons, Izzy and Jake. None of them were performers. It was their job to do whatever the ringmaster asked. If the ringmaster said, Sweep up the filings after the swords are sharpened, then that's what they did. If the ringmaster said, Brush the lion's teeth, then his son squirted toothpaste on an old broom, threw it in the cage, and watched the lion chomp it to bits. He was a very ferocious lion. Abe, said the ringmaster, holding the clown's jump rope, I want you to stretch this rope across the very top of the tent and walk across it. I promise you are going to be a big hit on the high wire come opening night. Gulp! Old Abe had never done anything like this before. But with faith in the ringmaster, old Abe quietly accepted the rope. Izzy and Jake got two tall ladders and placed them across from each other under the big top. They and old Abe climbed higher and higher up each ladder and stretched the rope across, tying it tight at either end. Phew! Looking down, the ground seemed far, far away. Slowly, Old Abe placed one foot on the rope. There was a little bounce. Slowly, carefully, Old Abe slid his other foot onto the rope. With arms stretched out, Old Abe began to walk. He was doing it. This was life on the high wire. He invited Izzy and Jake to try. Step lightly now. That's the way. Don't look down. Just keep your eyes on the goal across to the other side. Old Abe encouraged his sons. 
Soon all three of them were walking back and forth on the high wire. It began to feel like they just might be ready to perform come opening night. They tried even more daring tricks, bouncing and turning cartwheels. Other performers looked up from their preparations and admired the new act. Wow! Maybe we really will be the stars of the big top, old Abe bragged. Hee-hee, snickered the clowns. So you think you're stars up there, the clowns jeered and mocked. They missed having the rope. They saw the vendor now with candied apples and olive pops. Hee-hee-hee, catch this flying star. An apple sailed across the air, almost knocking old Abe off the rope. One clown crawled into a cannon while another was ready with the match. The naughty clowns aimed straight at old Abe. Boom! The cannon shot the clown right up to the high wire and he grabbed onto the rope. My rope! My rope! The clown sang, swinging on the rope. Is being target practice what the ringmaster meant when he said we would be a hit? wailed Izzy and Jake. The other circus performers felt a little jealous of Old Abe, so they encouraged the clowns all the more. See if Old Abe can do a double flip, called out the lion tamer. He cracked his whip to make his lion roar. This frightened the monkey, making him jump onto the ladder. There's enough rope for all of us, one of the clowns announced. He pulled out a pair of scissors, ready to cut up the high wire to divide among his buddies. Ringmaster, ringmaster, have you forgotten me? Old Abe cried. I need you. I don't need to be the star of the big top. Enough, the ringmaster commanded the performers. They all stopped. Even the monkey returned to his place. I am the ringmaster of the circus. I feed you and clothe you and make sure you are strong and rested. I invite the children so they can enjoy your performances. If you divide up the rope, then you will all fall. And isn't this old Abe always there to take care of so many of your own needs, helping the bearded lady untangle a nasty snarl or spotting the strong man in his bench presses? Old Abe was ashamed he had bragged about being the star. The lion tamer was sorry he had been jealous. Even the clown came down from the heights, respecting the ringmaster and remembering his kindnesses. They were sorry for their naughtiness. Now who's to perform on the high wire opening night? The clowns or old Abe? challenged the ringmaster. Old Abe! Old Abe! Izzy, Jake, and old Abe! the other performers cheered. Ringmaster, have you seen the tricks they can do? They're naturals. The children will love them. The circus is in town. The circus is in town. All the children raced toward the big top and found a seat inside. They laughed and cheered and smiled and enjoyed every act. Even the flags waving off the big top tent seemed to be clapping. The clowns were funny. The strong man was powerful. The sword swallower was amazing. The bearded lady was hairy. The lion tamer was daring. But the high wire, oh, the high wire. Old Abe, Izzy, and Jake were magnificent. Afterwards, all the children wanted to learn how to walk the high wire. Old Abe and his two sons said they would help teach them. From the ground up, of course. All the circus performers from then on enjoyed one another's acts. None was jealous of the other. Even the lion made friends with the monkey. And the ringmaster continued to care for and love them all as they brought joy to the children everywhere and in every land. Visit memoirsofanolivetree.com. Enjoy the entire series, including easy-to-read explanations for children, lesson plans for teacher, parents, crafts, games, songs, and more.